Hello everyone again to my channel CAD Chem Tutor. Today so on I'm gonna show you how do these complex shapes with the help of simple tools in SolidWorks 2020. Then I will show you how to save these files into 3D printing. Then we can see how visualize this object with nice appearance and background with the help of SolidWorks Visualize 2020. Some of them are wondered and ask for how to do these designs. So this is about that so still you are not subscribing my channel join with us today for make your own designs for 3D printing. This is SolidWorks Visualize Professional 2020. In this video I will show you basic rendering process of this lampshade to a image. So learn in things deeply, I'm inviting you to watch my other playlists. There I will do so many things which you are not familiar with SolidWorks. So let's move on to the video. Main part is to design the lampshade or this outfit. I'm taking these dimensions when doing the sketching. You can use your own dimensions as the sizes can vary with the bulb sizes. So open a new part and start a sketch. Start a sketch on front plane. I'm going to make a half part and then revolve it on the center axis. When sketching I'm using shortcut method to make this easily. Still you are not know these things go to my playlist on shortcuts and you can have a look by the link given. First make top and bottom lines. I take bottom line larger than the top line. So lamp will get a nice shape. Also this is a half of the lamp and you have to think it fully view. Look at in here, we have to generate this. I'm using dimensions to keep restrict the changes. In future I can change them with my any designs. Press S and get spy line tool. And make one point here to get curve and give vertical height to your lamp with considering with the bulb what you have. I'm making it to 135 millimeters. Make changes to the spy line until you get the desired shape. You can use handles to adjust the tangency and arrows to make the direction. Here I'm adding spy line point by right click on the curve. Then adjust it until it get a nice neck. I think now this is okay. Before revolving make close the sketch. And select the contours. Now you have the lamp shade. Next we can make divided this into parts. So we can individually make adjustments to whole body. First I make two planes in top and the bottom to make divided. Click the face and add a reference plane and give distance as 8mm. Do the same to the bottom surface too. Now you add two planes into top and bottom to make split. By clicking S shortcut panel I will take this split tool. If you have not that in there go to insert and features. There you have split tool. Then give trim surfaces. Here I made two planes that I was made before. Then press cut part and select the parts to cut. 
don't forget to uncheck this consume cut body. Otherwise you will not see any body. Now press OK. This is it. So you will see separate three bodies on solid bodies panel. Let's continue with top and bottom bodies. Hide out the bodies which are not doing edit. Get the bottom body. Right click on its surface and edit sketch. I want a extrude cut. So, I make a circle in center. Make it with outer circle gap with 1mm. Go to Features and click Extrude Cut Tool. Make direction to up to next. So when you are adjusting the sizes, automatically these are getting changed. Reveal the top body and do a extrude cut. This is where you are inserting the lamp bulb. So consider about the blub holder dimensions. So you will short turn your assemblies after make this part. I'm here taking 28 millimeters. In here also change the direction into up to next mode. Now we finished two parts. Next is the final one. Reveal it and make a sketch on the front panel. I want to make a line shape to make a nice look hole inside here. So I will make this in front plane and project this to the surface. Make sure this line are touch the body parameters in front plane. Also I make these two lines into parallel lines. And give 5.5 mm width. Here I was forget to make a hole inside the body. Exit the sketch and make a hole first. Here I'm using shell tool to do this. If you have that shortcut, you can go to insert and features to get shell tool. Also in top panel, here I'm select the faces where I want shell and give the shell thickness. I take it as 1.6 millimeters to reduce the material and make it stronger. Drag down the sketch what I have done before. So, you will able to extrude now. Edit the sketch and go to Boss Extrude. Here I'm change the start point into surface and give inner surface. There you will see the projected line. Let's make some adjustments. I reduced the thickness up to 3 mm. But when considering the edge part closely, there will be some gap. Keep it in mind and continue. In here very important part is uncheck the merge result. Apply OK and see the result. In solid bodies now you can see another body what we have made by extruding. So you can separately hidden the pot body by not hiding the wanted extrude part.
This is what I want. Press Ctrl and Z to undo the changes and see what happen if we not inject that merge result box. Continue the same and do not uncheck the merge result. Then press OK. See, now you don't have a separate body for the extruded part. You can't hide this separately. When hiding all the parts get blind. Make that change again. Now you have separate body. Make reveal other parts. I have told you there will be manufacturing defects when apply 3 mm. So I will reduce the thickness for some points that is not going to affect final product. Right click on the extruded body and make adjustments. Finally I have end up with applying 2.3 mm in thickness. Then I'm going to mirror this. Go to bodies to mirror and select the extruded body. Give the mirror surface as front plane. Take this by clicking the drop down menu. This mirror body also touches the top and bottom surfaces. So you can apply this. Then go to the circular patterns. There you can select the bodies. Click on both extruded and mirrored body. Select the top part round ring to define the direction. There you will see the pattern. Change the number of bodies which you want. These are the body parts which we have now. I adjust the number of bodies into 18. This will give nice and clear view. You can insert the bulb on the top. See there is no manufacturing defects to see at the edges.
Let's save this into export as a 3D printing model. Many of them have how this is possible to make a single 3D print file by these body parts. Go to save us by clicking on files. By the drop down list you will get the STL file type. Click on the option to make some changes. At the bottom check this save all components of an assembly in a single file. And press OK. This is the mesh what you have taken to the printing. You can use some softwares other than doing this. Later we can see them. This is the file what you have generated. If you are not apply that single file option you will have many files separately in according to your bodies. I will do 3D printing projects to you by SolidWorks and Fusion 360 softwares. Email me if you interest in my work. Link is in below. Don't forget to subscribe this channel. In next video I will show you how to render this lamp with nice black clish appearance with a stunning background with lights. So don't forget to subscribe my channel. Like the video and make your idea in comments. See you soon on next video. Thank you for watching.